Hello, my name is Jules Krachtenhorst, and I'm the CEO of Rocky Mountain Institute and Carbon War Room. At the end of 2016, we look back at an eventful year, and we know that we have our work cut out for us for the upcoming year. We merged with Sir Richard Branson's Carbon War Room in 2014 and have grown from 70 employees in 2013 to over 150 people today. We've gone from 90% work inside the United States to almost 50% of our work internationally. And we're now active not just in North America, but in Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, as well as on global industries like aviation and shipping. And our budget, 30 million this year, has tripled since 2013. Our work is more crucial than ever. The Paris Agreement reached a year ago was a success for the world. Countries set out what they can do to help keep temperature rise to below 2 degrees. But this commitment alone is not enough to limit global warming. The results of the recent US election is not likely to help our mission either. The growth path for developing and emerging economies is still largely based around fossil fuels. There's too much reliance on oil, gas and coal in industries, in buildings, in transportation, in power generation. But we are better placed than ever before to tackle climate change and transition to a clean energy future. What the world now needs is to aggressively deploy renewable technologies, wind, solar, geothermal and battery storage, in the power sector and in industries like mining, the built environment and transport. We know that shifting energy demand to renewably supplied electricity creates a path to near zero carbon emitted by the mid of the century. We need to get more out of every kilowatt and joule that we produce and become much more energy efficient. And we need to help emerging economies learn from one another, increasing global energy productivity and reducing emissions. At RMI, we have the track record to accelerate this change. For over three decades, we have played a key role in developing, incubating, testing and driving to scale some of the key tenets of cutting-edge energy systems that are now considered mainstream. Firstly, we are driving the transition by market-based solutions and business innovation. For example, we have accelerated the corporate purchasing of large-scale renewable energy through our business renewable center. 3.4 gigawatts of renewable energy deals were signed by corporations that are members of the BRC in 2015. We are relied upon to provide practical guides for utility transformation. For example, electric vehicles as distributed energy resources tell vehicle OEMs, regulators, utilities and others how to plan proactively for increased electricity demand for EV charging. Efficiency comes first, making the problem smaller and increasing energy productivity before working on the supply side. We co-led a deep energy retrofit of the Empire State Building, reducing energy use by two-fifths, leading to direct retrofits of lots of other buildings thereafter. We focus on shifting the electricity system from one based on centralized fossil fuels to one based on decentralized renewables. We've helped the US government's Department of Energy with their Sunshot program to lower the cost of solar PV, the goal of which is now five years ahead of schedule. And we're now applying a similar model to community solar. We believe that mobility transformation is also key. We are helping cities transition from personal internal combustion gas vehicles to electric autonomous vehicles. Armai's recent report on peak car ownership presents a roadmap for the coming mobility transformation towards a $120 billion market for electric automated mobility services. We are tackling global transportation emissions from the aviation, marine shipping and trucking industries. Carbon War Room's work on bringing better market information to the shipping industry has already helped move 20% of the world's cargo onto more efficient vessels. We believe that by working together with philanthropists, businesses, governments and other NGOs, we can make all of this happen over the next 20 to 30 years. But we can't do it without your generosity. We are deeply grateful for all the help we've received from you over the past year.
We wish you very happy holidays and all the best wishes for the new year. Thank you very much.